half of the show. He's performing here for the second time ever. Does a lot of theater, though, so he's very, very comfortable up here on stage. Please get up for the very funny Anton Young! <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for coming out to watch me uh, do comedy. Did anybody else get uh, fucked over by traffic and construction on the way here? Cause uh, I sure did. And uh, uh, man, I'm starting to hate summer. Um, traffic's ridiculous with construction. Some asshole was like, hey, let's rip up every single road in the lower mainland at once. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I have a word for being stuck in traffic. It's called trafucked, because that's what it is. <laughs> um, it's so hot during summer. It's ridiculous. Um, it looks like someone's been frying bacon on my forehead for the last month and a half. And I'm just so sick of it, because my girlfriend kind of won't touch me all the time. And it's just, it's horrible. Um, I heard, I heard uh, that some people in the SkyTrain actually took all their clothes off and got completely naked. And I was like, what the hell? Like, is that hot? Like, come on. But then I realized, I was like, that makes sense, because there's poles everywhere. <laughs> when it's hot, it's humid, and when, there's, when it's humid, there's spiders. And I live in a basement, and I have to deal with those greasy, hairy-ass sons of bitches all the time. And I hate spiders so much. Um, you know, there's one rule that you need to know when you find a spider. Actually, you know what, this is no longer stand-up comedy, this is stand-up serious. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Um, there's one rule you need to know. When you find a spider in your basement, do not take your eyes off it. Because if you go to get something to kill it with and come back and the spider is not there, you can't sleep in that house, you might as well burn it. Because that spider could be hiding anywhere, just waiting under your bed, you know, until you fall asleep to crawl right in your mouth. I don't hate them. I have, I have my, uh, a book I used to kill spiders with. Uh, it's my sister's Twilight book. <laughs> um, I opened it up the other day, and I killed a spider with it earlier, and there was a little spider leg covering up the good part. So, that's too bad. <laughs> Um, I'm in a relationship. My girlfriend's awesome. We've been together for a while. Uh, things are good. Um, but before I was going out with her, I tried the whole dating thing. You know, it was okay. Um, I met this girl once at a bar, and uh, she happened to be a philosophy major at SFU, just like me. Um, so we hit it off pretty fast. We were talking, and um, you know, we were talking about deep philosophical things and stuff. You know, I like that, whatever. But we were talking for quite a while, and I was kind of like wanting to slip in, like, hey, like, when do we like? regress to animals and you know go back to someone's house and like hump each other for a while like I uh, couldn't really fit that in so I ended up hanging out with my hand later that night uh, I have a confession you know I don't tell this to most people but I'm kind of nervous around girls I get like that um, you know I think but I think at one point you know everybody's kind of nervous around the opposite sex a little um, it's okay, you know, don't be embarrassed, just trying to get through it. Um, you know, like if I'm sitting with a girl on like my couch, um, my hands can kind of get kind of clammy sometimes and it's gross, so uh, usually I pull out and I go wash my hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I, uh, usually, when, <laughs> usually when I would uh, go out trying dating, I'd go with my friends and like try and meet some girls, but uh, you know, my friends are awesome guys, they're, they're awesome, they're my best friends, but my friends aren't actually my best friend. My dog is my best friend. And I think everybody, if they have a dog, your dog is your best friend. Uh, my dog is a poodle shih tzu, and she's great. Um, I was thinking, like, what would you call that? Like a poo shit? <laughs> I don't know. Um, my dog is my best friend, and I have a simple experiment you can do if uh, you don't know if your dog's your best friend. Get your best friend and your dog and get a car, lock them both in the trunk of the car and uh, leave them in there for about an hour, you know, make sure they have enough air and stuff and uh, let them out after an hour and see who's happy to see you. <laughs> it's going to be your dog, you know. So. That's my set. Thanks, guys.